I'm in Antarctica following a team of scientists who are setting up remote cameras in penguin colonies here. I'm Tom Hart. I'm a scientist at Oxford University. On the peninsula, we've probably got 40, and they are spread out the length and breadth of the peninsula. That takes photos all year round, every hour. We want to show with the cameras how well are they doing at individual sites. The whole reason we're here is to monitor penguins on a vast level. So if we have a constant presence in all these colonies, we can look at how many chicks survive. It's like CCTV. Little penguin fight down there. there so if you hear that, that, that's one penguin beating up another. The times when you're not here, seeing what's going on in winter is, it's really beautiful because it's differences in light and it's just something you'd, you would never get to see. So the partnership with, with tourism, this access, is, is really important, isn't it? it? It's vital. We would never have the access without them. So partly we're doing this because tourism is a potential threat. We want to monitor it. And so we measure it. Where we've looked, actually, there, there seems to be very little impact of tourism. So we have quite a close partnership and they drop us off where we want to go and in return we educate their tourists about conservation and we hopefully inspire them to conserve penguins. So this is the gangway, the hole in the side of the ship where we get into the smaller boat before we go ashore. We're going to wash our boots. A pristine place and we're going to be taking anything onto the Antarctic mainland that shouldn't be there. This is a Zodiac. It's a fast rubber boat and we use this to get around. So tourists land and go cruising in this and they're fantastic boats. Very fast, very stable. They bounce when you hit them up against a rock. So they're wonderful for down here. My name is Solon Jensen and I work as expedition leader for Quark Expeditions. We have access to an international body of visitors and it's incredible to see how ubiquitously everyone is deeply affected by Antarctica. One of the things that we love about working with the production of scientific knowledge is that we give people the kind of emotional attachment to the place and they provide a groundwork and relevance for people to put that energy, you know. What's happening here? What are the current issues here, you know, with fisheries, with penguins? And then, of course, it also brings home a lot of bigger picture questions about human beings' presence on the planet. So this, this is the last camera for this expedition now? We'll check. For this one? Of... So I think, yeah, that's, that's it for this year. Uh, for this camera, anyway. And now it's just turn it on and fingers crossed. I'm back next year. Yeah.